Hey, uh, greetings there, gold seekers. This is Tim for Blue Lead Gold Productions. I am in the midst of the ancient Yuba today, and I am back at a hydraulic pit that um, I was at when I posted a video a little while ago, uh, and I found a couple little pieces of gold. And because I'm an old dog who just can't learn new tricks, I am back today at that exact same spot that um, I found the little pieces of gold at. And I am here today with the one and only Top Cat of Top Cat Gold Prospecting. And Howdy, he is everybody. chasing a signal. This signal was a signal that vexed Cario. It vexed me for about 45 minutes the last time I was out here. Let's see. And what Todd has discovered is that where that signal was coming from is actually in a quartz vein. And uh, sounds like sounds like we still got a signal in that quartz vein. So we're gonna try to pound and pulverize the quartz and see if there's any damn gold in it. Well, gold seekers, Todd is um, continuing to just molest this bedrock down here, and he is determined to find the signal that is buried deep in the bedrock at this point, buried deep. He's tossing everything he chips up into the pan here, although I'm not sure we've got a whole lot of water around here to pan with today. Oh, oh we're just saving it to detect it. Yeah, spread it out and detect it stuff. All right, well, Todd gave up on this signal over here. Um, Cario chased it for about 30 minutes. I chased it for about 45 minutes. Todd put about 15 minutes into it. And if there's gold there, it's staying there. But Todd, Todd is, uh, he's working another uh, signal over here. And who knows, there may be something good out of that. Okay, so Todd says this target has a sweet sound. Personally, I like the sweet terpene profiles on the hella jelly I'm working with here today. I'll show you that stuff in a minute. But he's going he's gonna to try to see if there's some gold in that. Okay, well, we've, we're narrowing it down, narrowing it down. What we do is we take our pick and we go, oh, there's our sweet ah. sound. Nope. Yeah, well, they can't all be, can't all be uh, uh, bonanza digs here that's what um, small iron sounds like todd's got a wee bit of uh of magnetic <laughs> black sand on the end of his pick here yeah that's from old mother yubo so this is what we're working with out here today home uh some nice homegrown hella jelly and this stuff doesn't look too spectacular but um it is just as sweet as uh uh, cherry pie. So, gotta love this. Hella jelly. Well, uh, that, that was just a delightful lung load of hella jelly. And Todd and I are having a deep discussion about religion and stuff today. Um, but in the meantime, he's just over there swinging his detector, looking for another piece of gold I missed. Yep. Never stop, never surrender. Todd says anything to help out an LBPA brother. Yeah. Well, this uh, hole was a twofer. I got two uh, rusty square nails for the price of one. Okay, so I just rolled a couple of larger size rocks off of this. We got bedrock down here, I think. I do believe that's bedrock. And got a little bit of a signal on it. Hear that? All right, let's find out what's making that sound. Okay, so Todd is swinging the 6,000 up there, and I have just cleared off this bedrock area here. And now I'm going to swing my detector and hope I can come up with a decent signal. Oh, gold seekers, it's just been a typical day of metal detecting for me so far. Uh, square nails, rusty metal, the usual trash. But I'm being a good ecologist, I'm cleaning it all up and keeping a smile on my face. And I thought I'd show you this rock here. Look at the size, just look at the size of this thing. All smoothed out and river rounded and all that. Beautiful. And speaking of rocks, gold seekers, look at that. That thing is 
just a huge quartz boulder. It's about probably six feet tall at least and 25 feet wide. It's the great white whale. Look at that. All right, gold seekers, we've had lunch. You can hear Todd's detector behind me. I like all these great big rocks right here. These are some big heavy runs. Got big river rounded rocks here and relatively accessible bedrock. But if I look down there, I can see I'm not the first person to come and swing a detector in this area. There's a dig hole there. But, He's moving these rocks. He's yeah. Like yeah, um, as soon as Todd gets this pile moved here, <laughs> we know there's gold. It's down there underneath those rocks. But I'm going to swing my detector here for a bit. Okay, so I haven't found a piece of gold yet today. Probably time to make a smoke offering. Dana would say, dome it up for the LBPA. That's what I'm done here. I got some hell of jelly in that pipe. And uh, I'm going to try to see if I can make a, make a smoke offering and find some gold. Mmm, yum. Hella jelly is hella good. Sky is clouding up. We started off with just a clear sky and brilliant sunshine, but the temperature is still pretty pleasant. And uh, it's about time to find some gold. All right, so we got a little signal down here at the bottom of the big boulder pile. Don't sound too bad, and I think we got bedrock right down here, too. Well, gold seekers, um, uh, it has been a long and difficult uh, a day so far, but we do have gold. Take a look at that right there. That's a pretty little pickle piece of gold. Uh, here's what it sounds like on the SDC. Because it's all flat and stuff. Just like a damn square nail. That's why you gotta dig all the targets. And since I'm uh, right in the middle of the ancient Yuba here, I think I'm gonna have to give some thanks to Mother Yuba before um, I dig up some more gold. Thank you, Mother Yuba. It'd be nice if all my LBPA brothers were here with me right now, but I know that Damon is probably too busy just sniping up a load of gold up there in his creeks and rivers up there in Oregon. Okay, so using my trusty metal rake there, by that hefty piece of quartz, and uh, treating this area as if I were some type of a gardener for a Japanese rock garden, I have raked clean this whole area. That right down there, that's where we found the nice little piece. We've cleared up and cleaned up some bedrock. Let's detect it and hope that we can get another signal. Well, let's not get our hopes too high, but I got another signal right here. Well, for those of you who believe in physics and evolution and are, are skeptical scientist types, you probably don't think that a proper smoke offering is going to ensure the success of the dig I'm about to do. But it can't hurt. Can't hurt. Well, there are some things I don't know if you can see it. Right down there at the end of my finger. But it's a shiny little piece of gold. And it is a little piece of gold. It is... Um, that don't even count as a loose standards picker. I'm going to get some of this other trash out of the scoop here. And I'll try to see if we can show you what it sounded like on the... Oh, that sounds pretty good now that I got the trash out of the way. But yeah, that's a piece of gold. Piece number two. Got to be happy with that. Thank Mother Yuba. All right, well, Todd here is taking a break. He's, yeah. uh, he's been cleaning up a lot of square nails and rusty metal and stuff. I found a pick tip. Oh, a pick tip, all right. That's not a bad, bad find. Nope. Uh, it's getting there. towards the end of the day, so this is the, this is the time for some end of day gold, I'd say. Yes. Right after, right after we have a bit of a rest here. I need some water. All right, well, Todd is trying for some end of day gold here. He's got my SDC, and, you know, that's, that's, that's a, that's a good sound for the SDC. That could be gold, but unfortunately this area here where I was digging had some piece of rusty metal that fragmented into about 75 different pieces, of which I found probably 25. So let's hope Todd's got something in that scoop. Okay, gold seekers, I'm finishing this video up on my, um, uh, go on my 
uh, cell phone because my GoPro batteries ran out. Um, Todd had managed to get an end of day gold piece that I wasn't able to film. And so he has kindly decided to drop his end of day gold on the ground right by the truck here so that we can uh, film him finding it for a second time, hopefully. Oh, sounds like we got end of day gold in the scoop. I knew I'd find it. We got end of day gold in the scoop. All Woo! right, there it is. Check it out, gold seekers, Todd Hanson. End of day gold. Look at that. Twice. I'd call that one a loose standard picker. It's so small, I had to do it twice. That way I get more gold. Yeah. <laughs> twice oh, yeah. as much. Double the fun of finding it. <laughs> Double the pleasure. All right, well, let me show you my goal for the day here. Um, that was piece number one and piece number two. Now, piece number two took some real skill to find because if you look at it, that is just a tiny, tiny little piece of gold. But I got to be happy with that because that's all I got. And what do we have in the truck, in the back of the truck here, Todd? Uh, I think we got cold beer. We've got 805s and he's got some Sierra Nevadas. Sierra Nevadas yep. from and Gary's Brewery. Yep. So we are gonna have one and get our asses on out of here. Yeah, so by the way, Todd, how do we end the uh, Blue Lead Gold Productions video? 3% America. <laughs> America. <laughs> aloha. And aloha. <laughs>